CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the PC software to view your cameras from your security DVR or NVR. Here I already have the software open and the default tab it takes me to is the video preview tab. If you're not here already, you need to first go to the home tab and then click either of the video preview buttons. That's going to take you to the video preview tab. You can also open multiple preview video tabs and then turn them into windows. Here I have video preview 2 and to make it into a window I need to click and drag this video preview. It's going to ask me to save it first and I'm going to click yes and then it's going to allow me to manipulate this video preview in a new window. Let's say if I had another monitor or if I just wanted to have two different windows be side by side. I can do that with this video preview too. If I want to bring it back into my main window, I can click and drag the tab and bring it back into the taskbar for the main software. You can also add a preview 3 for example. However, I don't need that video preview 3 so I'm going to click the X button and then I'm not going to save it. Let's say you want to delete any of those views that you've saved Keep in mind you could also use this function for your favorite views for example. You need to go down to the view tab and then you can view, you can see your different previews or views that you've saved here. Let's say I no longer want preview 2, I can right click it and click delete view and then click OK to delete that view. Now video preview 2 is gone. If I want it back, I click the plus button. However, it's going to be need to be reconfigured because I've deleted anything that I already had here. Hopefully that gives you at least a little bit of a quick tutorial on how to create different views and save them. Uh, again, once you make a change to this preview, uh, you, it will come up with an asterisk and then ask you to save it if you try to exit out of it. And then you can even have it auto switch between your different pre your different previews that you have saved here. So for example if I set a five second timer and click auto switch after five seconds it will switch between preview two and go to preview one so on and so forth. So I'm going to stop that auto switch and then I'm going to delete preview two. Okay so it says I'm active so I need to go on v video preview two or one and then right click and delete the view let me do it now. It let me do it now. So now that I have this video preview tab one you're probably wondering well how do I actually view my cameras. Here I have a default area this is actually my DVR I haven't renamed it yet for the sake of this video. Once you've added your DVR NVR you should have it called default area. If you want to rename that you first need to go to the home tab again and then over here on resource management there is going to be an area setting under resource management. So we can click area setting and here we see it's a 16 channel recorder. It is my DVR in this software and I want to name it something else. So I'm going to click the edit icon and then it's going to allow me to name it. I'm going to name it office DVR. So I've named, I'm going to go ahead and name my area name which really is my recorder and name it office DVR. So now that it's named Office DVR, I can go back to my video preview one here. If I wanted to ne rename my video preview, I would again have to go down to view and right click my video preview and then click modify view. It's going to allow me to rename this view. I'm going to leave it as the default view for this video. So if I want to bring videos or bring cameras into my video preview one, I need to go to monitoring point. Here I have now renamed that area to Office DVR, so I know it's my Office DVR. I'm going to expand that. I really only have camera one, which is channel one, connected to my DVR, so that's the camera we're going to focus on using in this tutorial. So if I wanted to view this camera one, I would first select the grid screen I want it to go to, and then I can double click on that camera channel. What I can also do is I can click and drag that camera name to any of the grid options or grid slots on the grid here. Let's say I wanted to bring this camera into the fourth quadrant of my four camera grid view here. And I did I went ahead and did that. The teal outline is the grid current part of the grid that you have selected. This is going to be more apparent in larger views. So to get to that in these larger views 
either more cameras or bring the camera into a larger view. Let's say I wanted to view one of these channels in a larger view. That would be done by clicking the one button down here. So that brings this channel that I have selected into the one. It's the only camera on the screen here and it brings it to fill this playback area. Let's say I wanted to go back to a four camera grid view. I select four. It's going to pull up any of the other channels I had here sitting in my four camera grid view. So this would be channel, you know, camera one, camera two, camera three, camera four. It brought those cameras back up. If I wanted to view nine cameras at the same time, I would click the nine view. Again, it's going to put this camera in those quadrants that I had already populated in the four camera grid view. So we have one, two, three, four, and we have five, six, seven, eight, nine. 16 camera grid view, again, one and four, and we have 16 slots. 25, we have one and four, all the way up to 25. 36, we have one and four, and then all the way up to 36. So that's how you change the grid options. There are probably more division options, as you can see here, but I'm gonna focus mainly on just the one, four, nine, 16, 25, and 36, as I have done already. I only have one camera added, so I'm gonna go back to four and just show you what you can do. So now that I have this four camera good view, I can actually move this view. I can move these cameras around as I see fit. If I wanted to save this view, I would go down here to my views, right click and click save. And just to show you an example, I know we went over this before, but I have video preview too. Let's say I wanted to make this different. These two views are different. So be clicking between them, it's gonna change the view. As I showed you, you can have them switch between those views using this auto switch down here, or you can save them by right clicking and clicking save. I don't want that video preview too, so I'm gonna right click it and click delete. So I just have my single video preview here. Now you can also do digital zoom. So let's say you wanted to do digital zoom, you would come down here to the zoom in and zoom out options. By clicking the zoom in, I'm using digital zoom. I'm zooming in, it's getting pixelated. And then we can see the hood of my car out there. You can see the red hood of the car with the reflection of the tree on there. You can see that tree is, um, sorry, has a shadow. The tree has a shadow on the hood here. So we can see that shadow. And then if we wanna digitally zoom out, we would click the minus icon. There are some other options here like PTZ control. If this camera had PTZ controls, you could do that. So PTZ control, it actually is a motorized zoom camera. So I can pull up this PTZ menu and only do zoom. So it'll let me zoom in on this channel and then zoom out if I need to. So I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit here. And if it were truly a PTZ, I would have my cardinal directions for the PTZ here. I'm gonna close out of the PTZ controls here. You can take a snapshot and save that to your local hard drive on the computer that you're using. If the camera had audio, I could listen to the audio. Uh, if I wanted to close this channel, I could click the close channel button. I'm gonna do that to this one down here just for an example, so I can close it. There is a record button here. This is just to record to your local hard drive. If your system's already recording on the DVR itself, then it, the video will be here. But let's say you see something while you're previewing your system and you wanna save that to your hard drive as you're watching it, you would click the start record button. Same goes for, again, the snapshot button. That's just gonna save a picture rather than a full video to the local hard drive that you're using. Now, if you wanted to reset the digital zoom, again, let's zoom in a bit here. We could just reset it. Uh, if your camera had two-way audio, you could start talk back here. And in here, there's monitoring set point. This is just a custom, if you want to customize your on-screen display on the software itself, you can do that. Uh, not necessary. It's only a customization thing. And that, that would bring that information up if you click the OSD on and off button down here. You can customize that and have that overlaid on top of the software. It's not overlaying it on your camera's stream that's being recorded on your DVR. This is just in the software itself. So I'm gonna turn that OSD back off. Hopefully this video gives you a good preview, a good tutorial of how to live view your system using the software here. Again, I went over how to rename your software in the resource management 
the the area. I'm, I showed how to rename that. I showed how to make multiple video previews, how to right click and save them. You can modify them by to rename them. Uh, you can create more views. You can drag and drop them out into separate videos or sorry, separate windows. Again, hopefully this tutorial helps. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.